Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to install and set up VSF TPD to configure an FTP server on Ubuntu 24.04 or 22.04. This is a great way to manage files on your server securely, so let's get started. I will install the file server on my VPS machine, so I have to connect to it using SSH. If you want an affordable VPS check, the links in the video description. First, we need to update our system to make sure everything is up to date. Now let's install VSFTPD, which stands for Very Secure FTP Daemon. Run the following command. Once the installation is complete, let's verify that the FTP server is running smoothly in the background without any errors. Next, let's create a user who will have access to the FTP server. You can add a new user by running this command. Now let's create a folder under the home directory of the newly created user so that the user can only access it to upload and download files. Next, configure ownership, changing the ownership to nobody, no group is often done for security reasons in FTP setups. It ensures that no regular user or system user has direct ownership of the FTP directory, which limits the risk of unauthorized access or privilege escalation. Typically, this is used in anonymous FTP setups where you don't want any identifiable user to own the files. Next, remove the root FTP folder writable permission. This command removes write permissions for all users including the owner, group, and others on the FTP directory. This is commonly done to prevent anyone from modifying the contents of the directory, ensuring that files cannot be added, changed, or deleted. In FTP setups, this is often used to secure a directory for read-only access, particularly in anonymous FTP servers. Now create a directory for uploading files where your files will be stored. Now create a directory for uploading files where your files will be stored. Now to test, let's create a sample file inside the upload folder. Finally, verify the permissions for the FTP directory. Next, we need to configure VSFTPD, 
we'll be editing its configuration file. Let's open it using Nano or your preferred text editor. If you want to enable anonymous FTP, find the line for anonymous and type yes by default. For security reasons, nobody can log into the FTP server anonymously. Make sure the local enable is set to yes. This will enable local file access for users on your machine. Next, enable write access for users by uncommenting the following line. In the default configuration, no users are permitted to upload files via FTP, including both local and anonymous users. To allow file uploads to the FTP server, uncomment this line. Now restrict local users to their home directories to prevent them from accessing files outside of their own directories. Locate this line and uncomment it. Go to the end of the file and add these lines. These two lines are used in the configuration of an FTP server like VSFTPD to set specific parameters for local users. Together, these lines configure the FTP server to create a user-specific environment where each user is restricted to their own FTP directory, enhancing security and personalizing access. Add these lines to set passive ports. These settings help ensure that the FTP server operates smoothly in passive mode by clearly defining the port range available for data transfers. Additionally, add the following lines to ensure that VSFTPD only permits access to users listed on its authorized user list, preventing access to anyone else. Now save the file and close the editor. If you have a firewall running, you'll need to allow FTP traffic. Next, add the newly created user to the VSFTPD user list file to allow them to log in and access the FTP server. To apply the changes we've made so far, restart the FTP server service. Now let's test the connection to our FTP server. You can use an FTP client like FileZilla or connect directly from another machine using the command line By default, data transfers using the VSFTPD FTP server are not encrypted, including the credentials. Use this command to configure SSL with OpenSSL to enable encryption on the FTP server.
After generating the SSL certificate, edit the VSFTPD configuration file to specify the locations of the private key and SSL certificate. This will deny access to anonymous connections over SSL and require users to transfer data and log in using SSL only. Save the file when you're finished. Finally, restart the FTP server. Let us try connecting again and see if the connection is secure. Perfect. We now have a secure connection. And that's it. You now have a fully functioning FTP server set up on Ubuntu 24.04 or 22.04 using VSFTPD. Uh, if you found this tutorial helpful, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.